How's it going guys? Welcome back to A Singaporean Life. I'm your host Jiara and as you guys can see in front of me today, I have seven different packets of snacks from Krusty's SG. Okay, so Krusty's SG is actually a Singapore-based snack company. They specialize in making uh, stuff like fish skin, then you have your soy skin crisps, and they also have potato chips as well. So if you guys would like to check them out, their website is at krustysg.com. Okay, so you guys can go visit the website and I'm going to tell you first where you can buy these snacks. So first off, you can buy these snacks from uh, FairPrice. Okay, I actually discovered them even before they contacted me. Okay, so about, uh, I would say three to four weeks ago, my parents actually uh, bought the truffle fish skin from our nearby NTUC and, they, and I actually got a chance to try it and I thought it was really really good. So I was pleasantly surprised when like two weeks later they decided to contact me saying that they actually wanted to work with me. So I'm very very happy to be able to be able to collaborate with them and they actually sent all these over so I actually have all of these here for free but that being said that will not affect my review. So I'm still giving my 100% honest review to you guys so uh, how it tastes, whether it's good, whether it's bad, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. So it doesn't matter if it's sponsored or not, I will want to uh, be as honest as I possibly can uh, to you guys so you guys know uh, whether or not this product is actually worth buying. So without further ado, let us uh, try out the first one. Okay, so I'm going to put all these uh, first at the side. Alright, and we'll talk about these a little later. I have a uh, cup of water here to cleanse my palate and what's really good about their packaging is that it's a ziplock packaging so you can actually reseal them after you finish eating them so that is one uh, good thing about it you don't have to finish it all in one go most of the uh, chips that you see now on the market they actually do not have these uh, resealable packaging which means that you either have to finish them all in one go or you have to find some sort of plastic container to store them and i have plenty of plastic containers in my house to store these snacks but it's very nice that they decided to make a resealable bag so uh, you can just seal it back inside the bag if you don't want to finish them on one shot okay so the only one that i've uh, tried from their company is actually this the truffle uh, fish skin i've not tried any of the other flavors yet so let's get started okay so this is their regular uh, salted egg fish skin so i'm going to crack this open right now okay very easy to open bag right here Okay, and let's take a look inside. Okay, so this is what you see inside. Alright, so I'm going to grab a piece now and let's see how it tastes. And you guys can hear the crunch from all the way over here, right? So I'm sitting a distance apart from the camera, but dang, this thing is crunchy. Really, really good, okay? Mm. It's not overly salty. Now, a lot of salted egg snacks on the market right now, they are, uh, in my opinion, a little bit too salty for my liking. So this one, I think it's just nice. It's not overly salty. Get a little teeny bit of uh, spiciness, okay? Probably from the curry leaves and whatnot. So the salted egg one, I will give it a solid 8 out of 10, okay? If you compare with other salted egg flavored snacks on the market right here. Uh, very nice crunch and the saltiness in my opinion I think it's just right. Don't really have any complaints about it. Maybe you can bump up the spiciness just a little bit more. Like you just get the very very slight hint of spiciness. But I like to uh, have a little bit more of it. You know what I mean? But then again this is not meant to be a spicy snack. It's meant to be a family friendly snack. So uh, anybody in your family can enjoy it. Next up the truffle flavored uh, fish skin. This is how it looks like inside. Okay, so I'm going to grab a piece now, and I've already tried this before. Okay, so I'm going to show it to you guys. Once again, very crunchy, and the difference between this one and the first one, both. Uh, this one also has salted egg, but uh, it has truffle as well. And the difference between this one and that one is, this one has a little bit of sweetness as well. So for those with a slightly sweeter tooth, then you, I would recommend getting this instead. I would say I prefer this one, uh, the truffle one over the non-truffle one, simply because you get that sweetness and it complements really well with the savoriness of the salted egg flavor. The truffle flavor is uh, not too overpowering and I think it is just 
right okay for a snack right now moving on to the next one okay now we have the tom yum fish skin okay tom yum fish skin this one is made with uh it also has salted egg inside but you know it's tom yum flavored so we are going to crack this open and see how it goes so all of them uh have been really really crunchy so that's nice okay this is how it looks like oh this one has a little bit more red hue to it okay from the tom yum now this is quite a big piece Oh. oh wow, this is actually not spicy at all. Um, I'm someone who can take quite a high level of spice, so I have quite a high spice tolerance, and I don't find it spicy at all actually. It has that nice little uh, sour kick. I'm going to go for another piece, okay? And it's actually not too overpowering, wow. That is actually not too overpowering at all. You can taste the scent of the lemongrass inside there too. And oh my gosh, out of all the Tom Yum snacks I've tried, this one is probably one of the best. Okay, and I'm not saying that because they sent me this for free, but uh, really, this one, a lot of Tom Yum uh, snacks or chips or whatever that you eat outside there is just boom. Very, very strong, very overpowering Tom Yum flavor. This one, no, this one surprisingly, it's very light and uh, not overpowering at all. A little bit of uh, sourness, a little bit of spice. Again, I think this is a great family family snack as well. It's definitely not spicy at all, at least not to me. I don't think it's too spicy. And even uh, my sister and probably my grandmother can enjoy this as well. So, uh, really nice. Okay, so I'm going to cleanse my palate with a little bit of water first before I continue. Next one, I'm very excited for this one because this one is mala, okay? Uh, again, with salted egg. I think all of their uh, chips have some sort of salted egg flavor inside them. Okay, so this one is uh, mala flavor. So, lots of mala flavored snacks out in the market today because it is uh, really just the trend nowadays. And let's see how this compares up with the other mala snacks that I've tried. Okay, so I'm going to crack this open. Okay, come on. Let's put it there. Wow, okay. Uh, the smell again is not too strong. Okay, so let's take a look uh, at what's inside there. Okay, I'm going to go for a big piece. Ooh, this one definitely looks quite red. Okay. Mmm. This one definitely has more kick than the Tom Yum one for sure. Okay, I wouldn't recommend this for people who can't really take spicy uh this is probably uh i would say a xiao la level okay if you're talking about the mala skill ta la xiao la zhong la te la all that kind of stuff it is probably on the xiao la level okay uh very nice same great crunch and the spice actually hits you near the end. It doesn't hit you immediately. So a lot of mala snacks, I realize you just, uh, the moment you put it in your mouth, you just boom, get a straight up uh, mala flavor. This one hits you near the end. It has a slight numbing feel to it. Okay, and the spiciness uh, is not too overwhelming in my opinion. You also do get a little bit of bitterness, okay? But uh, I think it is just nice. Like, really complements the spice and the numbingness really really well okay so this one uh, probably not for someone who cannot really take spicy but for someone who can take spicy this is probably a xiao la level okay again uh, like the rest of their snacks here it is not super overpowering it's not super strong so if you really want that uh, mala punch then i would say uh, maybe get something else okay uh, it's quite it's a bit more on the mild side for the uh, mala taste so i would actually prefer Something with a little bit uh, stronger mala taste. Okay, so I'm going to cleanse my palate with some water again. Okay, now let's try the next one. This one is soy skin crisp. Okay, this one is a salted egg flavor. It's the original flavor. And look at this mark, guys. Food King Good, which means uh, NOC from uh, Food King from NOC has actually tried this before. And 
it actually got three stars. So I'm very, uh, I'm quite excited to try this as well because something that is food king good uh, probably won't disappoint. Okay, so let's rip this packaging open and let's see what we have. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is soy skin. So all of those that I tried earlier, it was all fish skin. Now this is soy skin and you can see it's a little bit more different. Okay, so it's smaller in size, but uh, you get a little bit more of it. And look at this here. Look at that color right there. Oh, oh wow. Extremely crunchy and you know what this this tastes like to me? This tastes like baku. Is it is there like pork floss or chicken floss inside here? There isn't this is supposed to be I think this is vegetarian, right? Yeah, I think this is vegetarian, but holy crap. This tastes like baku to me. I don't know why I get that very strong baku flavor. Those those who've eaten baku before will know why I mean when you try this. Wow. I'm a huge meat lover, but this this might have converted me, man. This needs to go on every single vegetarian dish. This is really good. Wow. Yeah, this really reminds me of Baku. Again, very crunchy, a little bit of saltiness, and like all their uh, other snacks, it's a little bit more on the healthier side. It's not overpowering at all, and wow. The crunch and the savouriness uh, balances out really well. And you don't, the thing about their snacks is it's not too salty, so you don't get, uh, it's not too cloying. Even if you eat a lot of it, you put it to me, you know, as what they say in Chinese. So, yeah, very nice, very enjoyable. Wow, I definitely will be having more of this off camera later on. Really good. Um, this one I'll probably rate it at 10 out of 10 as well. Definitely Food King good. Okay, now let me seal this back before we continue to our next dish. Alright, so this one soy skin crisp again, but this one is wasabi seaweed flavor. Okay, so this is probably going to be spicy and the most well-known wasabi snack out there will probably be the, uh, the Tong Garden Green Pea. So I wonder how the spice level of this compares uh, against that. Okay, so I'm going to rip this packaging open. <clears throat> yeah, this one a little bit bigger. I smell more seaweed than I smell wasabi. I don't really smell the wasabi, but let's give it a taste. Wow. Oh my god. Mm. This is the type of wasabi snack that you can just keep eating over and over and over again. Why do I say that? Because you get the fragrance of the seaweed, you get the spice of the wasabi, but you don't get the pain that comes with the wasabi. You know the pain that shoots right up through your nose when you eat wasabi? You don't get that and wow, it's really good. Yeah. You get the spice, the fragrance of the wasabi, but you don't get the pain that comes with it. Wow. I don't know how they did this, but holy crap. This is probably my favorite wasabi snack right now. 10 out of 10, man. So, so good. Okay, when you first smell it, you don't really smell the wasabi. You get the seaweed uh, smell first. But once you bite into it, the wasabi fragrance uh, releases into your mouth. And then you get that little bit of spice. It's not as spicy as the mala one. Um, and it's not as spicy as... Okay, the tom yum one isn't exactly spicy. Okay, it's more soury. This one, I wouldn't say it's super spicy either. This is probably like... On a scale of 1 to 10 on the spice level, this is like a 0 0.5 spicy level. So uh, I think everybody can eat this. Uh, definitely something the whole family can enjoy, even for non-spice lovers. And uh, for people who are just, uh, who are not 
who are scared to eat wasabi at sushi restaurants. Maybe your kid uh, wants to uh, try, you know, their first wasabi and it's too much for them. And this, I think, is a very, very good entry level to get them in to eating wasabi because this is so, the wasabi, you don't get a pain. Uh, you do get a little bit of spice, so it's very mild and if they like the taste, then uh, it's probably, yeah, it should be your first introduction to the world of wasabi, in my opinion. Wow. Really, really good. I don't know how they did this, but this is fantastic, man. Again, uh, 10 out of 10. Definitely food king good here. Okay, wow. I'm so happy after eating that. Now, last but not least, we got this. Okay, but before that, let me cleanse my palate again. Okay, so this is a uh, ginger hot and spicy chicken flavor uh, fish skin crisp. Okay, this is actually not available inside of uh, it's not available for purchase yet. They will be re releasing it very soon. Probably uh, by the time this video comes out, they should be should have released it already. So, for those of you guys who know what the Samyang uh, spicy noodles are, okay, and if you have tried that before, then this is this flavor is basically what it is based on. Okay, so this is based on the Samyang spicy noodles uh, chicken flavor. Okay. So we are going to try it out and if you guys, uh, for those of you Korea boos out there who really loves your Korean food but sadly can't travel to Korea because of the pandemic, then maybe this is something that can help tide you over, okay? Wow! Really smells like the Samyang sauce, okay? So I'm going to let you guys take a peek inside, okay? Yeah, really smells of the Samyang sauce. You get that little bit of spice. You can smell the sweetness that comes from the sauce as well. And of course, the very distinct chicken flavor. It's sweet with a little bit of spice. Okay, this is definitely not as spicy as the Samyang noodles for obvious reasons. So in line with all the other snacks, this is also slightly more on the mild side. And I'll say this is a xiao la as well. Okay. Like compare this with the mala, I would say they are uh, the mala is just slightly, just very slightly spicier. Wow but um you get the, the sweetness of the uh, Samyang sauce, you get the essence of the chicken flavor, and you get a little bit of spice as well. It's definitely not super spicy. Yeah, okay, so the spice is basically, uh, again, it hits you somewhere nearer the end. Okay, for that spicy kick, you first, you uh, taste the fragrance of the whole samyang sauce, you get a little bit of sweetness, and then uh, at the very end, you get a little bit of spice there that kicks in. So really, really good snack as well. Wow. And uh, this one is probably, I would say for those who love their samyang spicy noodles, and I know there are lots of samyang spicy noodle fans out there, then definitely get this when it first comes out. You definitely won't regret it, and I think it is. Uh, really, really good. So, these are all the snacks that I have tried from Krusty's today. So, once again, huge thank you and shout out to Krusty's for sending all of these snacks over. Be sure to try out this snack that is going to be released in uh, stores very, very soon. And you can get all of their snacks from uh, any of your local petrol stations, Esso, Shell, Caltex, whatever. And you can also get them from uh, FairPrice. But, because uh, it's during it's the COVID season right now and you don't really want to travel outside too much, then you can also order it from their website that is at crustiesg.com. Okay, so that's it for this review, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and of course, subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Jala. Peace out.